So, it's been a while since we've spoken about Battalion 1944. You guys have been down there in the comments asking for me to make new videos on it, and the reason I didn't is because I had nothing to talk about. Well, today, that changed. In the last four months that have passed since the last time I updated you guys on this game, developer Bulkhead Interactive have been hard at work moving the game forwards, adding in new features and continuing towards the alpha and beta test that I'm sure we are all looking forward to. Today I have some new information on the ranking system for the game and as I'm sure you can see from the footage in the background, confirmation of a new weapon coming to the game. Let's start with that weapon then, the M1 Garand, the greatest battle implement ever devised. The footage you're watching is all in-game in the Unreal Engine 4, and the weapon is basically ready to go. This is the final M1 Garand in its starting form, and will be the model that you get to play with in Battalion 1944 when it launches at some point in 2017. Now the reason the developers have decided to release this piece of content is not only to show off the graphical fidelity of their game, and let's admit it, it does look pretty awesome, but also to alert people to the new store that they've set up where you can now purchase the game via PayPal. I know a lot of people were wary of the Kickstarter system and they wanted that extra layer of security that PayPal provided. There's a link in the description to the store by the way, but hang on a moment because I've got a lot more information to share. Not only have the developers released information about their first official weapon to be coming with Battalion 1944, but they've also gone a little bit further in depth with the way that the ranking and progression system will work. It's come a long way in the last few months, and although I have no assets to show you these changes, I can at least explain them to you. Battalion 1944 will use a live wear system, which has been dubbed the Wartorn system. It's tied to your in-game rank, and it will degrade the look of your character, weaponry, clothing and equipment as you progress through the game. For example, during your first round in the game, the first time that you fire up the multiplayer of Battalion 1944, your character will have immaculate, clean clothing, straight out of the factory, not a crease in sight. As you begin to rank up, everything, clothing, equipment, weapons, etc., will look increasingly worn and damaged. The player's face and all the visible skin will become scratched and bloody. And to add to this effect, as you rank up, you'll unlock the opportunity to add etchings to your weapon, with them becoming increasingly rare the higher you rank up. You'll also be able to unlock war paints as well, such as the ones used by the famous Pathfinders on D-Day. So rather than relying on a kill cam or a heads-up display to give you information, the developers are incorporating your skill level and rank directly into the environment of the game. You need to pay attention to the people you're fighting as the degradation of the clothing, skin, weaponry and equipment will tell you in what bracket they are in terms of skill and rank and therefore it will let you know if they are someone who's likely to be easy to take down or someone who's got more knowledge and skill than yourself. The developers directly are quoted as saying this about the war-torn system. We're creating an element of prestige in a much more real and tangible sense than just a number on a scoreboard. You actually become war-torn. Beyond that war-torn system, I'm sure there are many people out there who will be interested to know what you can achieve beyond the top rank in the game. What is there to really achieve once you've hit the top of the game? What's the incentive to keep playing? Well, Bulkhead have stated that beyond max rank, you'll get the opportunity to unlock different woods for your weapons. The stock and body of weapons in World War II were all made of different wood types and each offered their own style and qualities. In-game, this will add a further layer of cosmetic customization to your character, which will set you apart from the rest of the players out there on the server. 
All of this will be historically accurate though, so you won't find any garish, outrageous camos or decals here. It'll all fit nicely into the setting of World War II, and hopefully will keep players entertained as they rank up through the game. Genuinely, when I found out about this war-torn system, I had no other words than wow. According to Alex, the community manager over at Bulkhead, they've been working on this idea for a few months and were really excited to tell people about it. I think the majority of us who've been following Battalion for a while now will welcome this information with a massive cheer. This kind of implementation puts the skill back in the hands of the player. There's less HUD there giving you all of the answers. You need to be on your game and be ready for anything to come at you. The weapon and equipment degradation, all the scratches and all the dirt, that will all be viewable to you as you use your weapon in game. And the degradation of your uniform will be much more visible and used as an identifier to the players playing against you. You can't really see your own body when you play a first person shooter, but you can see your arms and you'll be able to see the degradation on there as well. As far as news updates go, I think the developers over at Bulkhead Interactive have hit the nail on the head with this one. I'm literally making this commentary with a massive smile on my face. All that time between the last update and this one, and they come out and give us a brand new approach to rank, skill, and cosmetic customization all rolled into one. It's like sitting down and digging into your favorite home-cooked dinner after a long time away. Stay tuned to the channel for more information about Battalion 1944 as it's released. I'll be covering the game all the way up to and after launch. It is a full World War II multiplayer shooter after all. And don't forget to check out their store. If you want to use PayPal to purchase the game, you can definitely do that now. Leave your comments down below and let me know what you think of this new update. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.